Hi Stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I want to welcome you to Utterly Awesome Stamping. Uh, today what I'm going to be showing you is a set that I probably wouldn't have bought had it not been for my annual calendar class that I do every August. But I was really drawn to these seashells. The set is called Friends Are Like Seashells. And this idea you're going to see right in the catalog. I did change up the greeting. I didn't add the, the twine the way they did. But uh, the basic idea is right out of the catalog. And it's fun when we can get ideas right out of the catalog. So first of all, let me show you the set, the dies, and the paper. And then I'll show you how to construct this. Because figuring out how to put it together is not intuitive. It looks like it would be, but it's not. It's easy. It's just uh, it's a little easier if you have some help. So let's get into place here and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is the set and you'll see that there are five seashells in it. Uh, and then they have, uh, it's two-step if you want to do it that way. And then friends are like seashells. You collect them as you go along or you collect them along the way. You are unique and completely amazing. It's hard to read upside down. And then happy birthday to, um, to what? To my amazing friend, I think. Or, mm, hello, beautiful friend. Okay, wishing you the very best. I'm so happy I found you. That's a good seashell, isn't it, a uh, saying? And then love you to the beach and back. That's really cute. Then the dies are very easy to use. We've got this one great big die and as you can see it cuts out all five of the seashells. And well it cuts out this, well let me show you what it cuts out. This is what it cuts out. So you've got five seashells and some seaweed. So yeah, there you go. Alright, then in addition to the big one we've got a sand dollar, the little seashell, starfish, and a couple of little pieces for greenery. So that's your dies. Then let me show you the papers because they are also very, very beautiful. They're called Sand and Sea. So we've got this, I'm not sure what to call that design, but it's pretty. And then this gorgeous blue on the back of it. Then we've got seashells that are blushing bride. This gorgeous paper that's blue, yellow, and pink. Can you see it? Blue, yellow, and pink. Then, Blushing Bride Sand Dollars with a gorgeous pink on the back. Starfish. Oh, oh I already showed you them. Okay. Looks like more Sand Dollars with a gorgeous blue print on the back. And then the seashells again with, mm, not sure, maybe that's sand. I'm not quite sure what that is. Anyway, beautiful designs. And then the last thing is the embossing folder. And you really need this if you're going to work with this set. It's very, very important and you'll see why. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I did was to take the paper. Now they have pearlescent specialized paper, specialty paper. And if you don't have the pearlized, pearlescent, I guess, specialty paper, you can use shimmery white if you have some of that. We don't sell it in the catalog anymore, but we used to carry it. Um, I mean, you can just use the basic white, um, but if you have something with a little shimmer to it, it's really nice. Okay, so as you can see, this is what was cut out. Let me put that aside. And then you're going to take your embossing folder, and for me, make sure that the copyright is up, and then put your print in it, or the cutout. And I find it easier if I just match up the cutout die with what's on the bottom instead of trying to pull it into the top because I can see very easily where to put this. Okay, then I'm going to pull this down, go run it through the embossing folder, and let me show you what you get. It is so gorgeous. Can you see it? I'll kind of do it to the side too. It is so beautiful. It gives texture interest. That's why you really, if you get the suite, you really, really want to get the Seashells 3D embossing folder. 
Okay, now this is pretty amazing. What we're going to do is stamp on top of the embossed cardstock. Normally you want to stamp first and then emboss. But in this case, we are embossing first because I don't want the print to be smooth, full, and complete. I want it to look bumpy. That's what they did in the catalog. So the first color I'm going to use is So Saffron. So I'm just going to ink it up really well. These are photopolymers, so it's very easy to line up and see what you're getting. Okay, now see the effect here? It's not whole and complete. It's bumpy and partially stamped, which is absolutely beautiful. That's the effect that we're going for. Okay, so done with, oh wait, I think there was another so, was there another so saffron? Yes, I think this little one, it's kind of a moot point because it's gonna get covered up by the greeting, but it makes me feel better mentally to know that it's all stamped. Okay, so next I'm gonna take Blushing Bride, and now I'm gonna take the big stamp, and by the way, I forgot to say that the stamps are, in the picture, are 75% of the size. You can see the difference, if you can see it that well. Okay, so this is 75%, and it says on here, 75% so you'll know the exact size that you're getting. Okay, so this is Blushing Bride, and I'm gonna stamp over another two stamps. Let me get it lined up. So there's one. Then I'm gonna do this little tiny one. Beautiful, okay, so let's put that away. Then I'm gonna take my Sahara Sand, and that's gonna be this last stamp right here. Get it lined up. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got all of the shells stamped. What we're gonna do next is take sponge daubers and daub some color. I'm gonna take just an extra piece of paper so I don't mess up this sheet. And uh, if you don't have sand, the uh, sand daubers, if you don't have uh, sponge daubers, it really would be worth getting a package. They come five to a package and they're just handy. I mean, you need them when you need them. So um, you need them. So I'm gonna put it in Sahara sand and I'm just gonna pull because I want it light and I, I just don't want this cardstock being plain. Okay, let's see where else. Maybe a little bit here. You can just look in the picture and see how they did it. It's really pretty. Okay, so now that I, so I won't get confused. I'm gonna close that, get out. This one is sea foam, soft sea foam. So it's very light. I'm gonna color in some green. It's very soft and very subtle. Just absolutely beautiful. You know, I hadn't pulled this set out yet, but I um, meet with a group of women, and one of the women was talking about how her birthday is this week, and how she absolutely, let's see, what's that gonna be? Hmm, I think I'll go back to Sahara Sand. How she absolutely wants her husband to take her to the beach somewhere, and I thought, oh boy, I better get out my beach set and make her a beach card, because I really have never, made a beach card before, or at least in a long time. I haven't made a beach card. Okay, so now you can see that we've sponged in the green, we've sponged in some Sahara sand, and the next thing we want to do is use our Winkostella. We want to add Winkostella to all the seashells, because you, oh well, I don't need it on that one. It's going to get covered up by the greeting. Come on, people. I don't think I could have used this whole pen up already. Then again, maybe I did. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to go back. And I thought this one was full and it's not, so I'm not gonna go find another one. We'll just add the, uh, the Wink of Stella after the fact. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken my Blushing Bride, this is a standard size card, eight and a half by five and a half scored. And then I used this pretty print and it's just 
a quarter of an inch smaller, so it's five and a quarter by four. And we'll just, ooh, it seems like a shame to not be using both sides of this paper. It's really beautiful. Okay, so let's make sure we get the card on there going the right direction. Okie doke. Then we're gonna put this stamp and seal. On the back of all the seashells, I'm gonna try to put it there, yay. Okay. Some days I do really well with this and other days I don't. And this seems to be a good day, so I'm happy. I'm gonna take this away. All right, now this is a very large uh, quarter sheet, so you have to uh, get it just right to get it onto the card without um, having it come too high or too low. Okay, so there you go. So we'll put the Wink of Stella on later. Then what I did is I took a happy birthday. I um, use this stamp called Happy Thoughts. It's one that's designed by Jackie Bolheis. She hit her hit million dollars. When you hit your million dollars in sales, you get to design a stamp set. So she designed a stamp set for beginners, um, but it's not just for beginners, it's for anybody. But the reason it could be a great set for um, someone who's starting to stamp or anyone who wants a lot of common greetings in one place, this is the stamp set because it's got happy birthday, thinking of you, thank you, congratulations, and then some really great stamps that you could use inside or outside, whatever you wanna do. And the font is beautiful. She did a great job, so good job, Jackie. And I'm going to use the happy birthday. Now, when I stamped happy birthday for the first time in blood, well, you know what? Let me show you again. I tried every color because my blushing bride wasn't really dark enough. I tried the um, yellow, I tried the green, I tried the Sahara sand, I tried every color I could think of and it really needed to be blushing bride. But like I say, when I stamped it just one time with my block, it wasn't dark enough. So what I ended up doing was just getting my stamp apparatus and I'm gonna put my paper and the stamp apparatus. Okay, now if your magnets go together like that, be gentle when you pull them apart because you don't want to break them. So slide them side to side and then pull them apart. Okay, got it? Don't mess up your magnets because they can break. All right, so I'm just gonna put this into place. I like to put my magnets as close as I can to the actual stamp so that when I pull it up, it doesn't move the cardstock. Okay, so I just, you know, set your stamp down, pick it up with the stamp apparatus, and now I'm gonna be able to stamp it several times. Let's see how many I need to stamp it until it is dark enough and I am happy. Okay, so almost. I just re-inked this, realizing, okay, probably just needs re-inking. Okay, two times. Two times with re-inking is just perfect. See how nice it is? But it's frustrating when you stamp something and it's not quite dark enough and you wish it were a little bit darker. That's why you really, really need a stamp apparatus. If you have one, I know that you love it. And if you don't have one, please consider getting one. Okay, so now what I did is I took the stitched, take a look at this again. This is not just a plain oval. Can you see it? This is the stitched oval. And it's out of, um, it's out of the stitched, what am I trying to say? Uh, stitched shapes dies. And so this is probably the second to the large, uh, second to the smallest one. And so all I did was just put it like this, took it over to my cutting machine, cut it out, and then I've got this beautiful, uh, got this beautiful greeting with a lot of interest because of the stitching around it. Then I took the layering ovals. Now this is just barely bigger than the greeting, but it's just enough to have a little bit of the blushing bride showing. So what I'm gonna do is put the two together. 
So like I said, just a little bit is going to be showing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull it up a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. So just a tiny bit of Blushing Bride showing behind it. And then you can either put dimensionals behind it or I just took this old punch, it's an old scallop punch, something a little smaller than what the finished product is, and I punched out three just from scrap, uh, from scrap cardstock, and I'm doing my little trick of adding cardstock because I personally didn't need it to be as high as dimensionals will make it. I just want it a little bit up off the card to give it some interest. So here we go. This particular stamp, the yellow one, is going to be covered up. Okay, here we go. So now all we need is our pearls. And I'm going to use medium pearls. I'm going to put three on there. And let me see where I put them because I liked where I put them. Okay, so I'm going to take the medium and I'm going to put one here. And again, I ordered those beautiful uh, pearls that come, I think it's on page 41, a part of the suite, but I didn't order them initially because I thought, well, I don't really need those. But then I decided, oops, I really do need them, so now they're coming on Friday. But in the meantime, I'm using the regular pearls, which are also beautiful. And then um, here, so I don't know if you can see the Wink of Stella. Oh my goodness, it just really makes this card pop. And then you could add a piece of um, white cardstock inside. And I put that saying that says you're unique and completely amazing, which just fits perfectly right with the seashells. So um, that's it. I hope you have fun. I'll show you what I'm working on. I'm, I'm not sure this is finished. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, this is, mm, the calendar is going to be something like this, but who knows, maybe not. It's only January. Uh, this It won't be January. It's going to be August of 2022. But anyway, that's what got me motivated to get this set. But if you've enjoyed the video, uh, then I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And all the details for this card will be on my blog at sandystamper.com. So thank you for joining me, and I will look forward to having you back the next time.